Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So finally, finally y'all, we got some tea. We got some tea under our belts and we gonna talk about it today. So our first topic is going to be how Danielle Codd's mother, Jen, reveals that she's been begging Danielle to get off of social media. Take a look. I don't believe that in any sort of way and the only reason why I don't believe it is because they're making a lot of money off of what she does and if you quit that then you lose money so I mean like like back when the Maury show was supposed to come out before it got cancelled for Danielle um they were talking about how much money they would get for sponsored bikini posts like $15,000 per post and I was like um, what? There are bikini companies out there paying 15 grand to like kids like 13, 14 to model bikinis. Like what? Zoe Laverne makes a comment on Zeph and Clark's TikTok saying he's mine, hop off. The TikTok was about Cody or Love, by the way. It was really funny. Now, I'm pretty sure that it was just a joke, though, because they are all, like, really close friends, so people were taking it seriously, and I even took it seriously before I even knew that the comment was on Zephyr's TikTok, because I seen the comment posted on a T page originally with no context at all. So I was like, is she commenting this on somebody's post who, like, wants Cody or Love, or, like, what? Like, right? Scum is on TikTok now. The guy who literally bagged muses and TikTokers and now he's on TikTok himself. That's not, that's not what we're talking about today. What we're going to be talking about is how he and Jacob Sartorius made a TikTok about how this girl who's blowing up at the moment, her name's Charlie, and they showed DMs of Charlie DMing Jacob a few years back when she was a fan of him. Take a look. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but it, that is really sh** to do. Like, that is why, like, what's the reason? I don't understand, like, what were you trying to gain from that? What was the achievements? Like, I don't know. Like, okay, she's blowing up and she used to be a fan of you, so what? I don't see why they needed to show that to the world, like, what? And if you guys are regularly on TikTok, you would know of Charlie by now. She's a really, really beautiful girl. She's blowing up on TikTok at the moment, and a lot of people are giving her sh** for it. Like, I see so many girls who are like, what's the hype about her? Like. Becky, who cares? And I think sometimes people forget, like, that's what TikTok is. People blow up randomly. People get hyped up randomly. Like, it doesn't matter. Now, to our last topic. I wanted to talk about this because I just find it really weird how um, the world and the society is, like, changing. TikToker Desiree Montoya is having her boyfriend move in with her. And she's 14! <laughs> Look, I don't know about you, but I didn't even touch a boy's arm until last year, and that was when I was 17. And look, I know how lame that sounds, all right? You can bully me all you want in the comments for call. Just call me lame, you know? But all I'm saying is she's 14. When a boyfriend and a girlfriend move in together, we already know what happens. And it's so gross to think about because these kids aren't even like eight, like legal age of consent. They're not even 16 yet. Like, uh, like what kind of parents, bro? What kind of parents do you have? Not that I want them or anything, because now I'm an 18 year old and I still don't care about boys. <laughs> they disappoint me. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video today. If you did like this video, however, give this video a fat thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video. I just want to make sure that you guys know that I truly love you all so much. Thank you so, so much for watching every single one of my videos every day when I upload. The love never goes unnoticed, all right? I appreciate you. Keep on being amazing, y'all.